The RQ-4 Global Hawk is a high-altitude, long-endurance, remotely piloted aircraft with an integrated sensor suite that provides all-weather, day or night intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance capabilities. The Global Hawk's mission is to provide a broad spectrum of ISR collection capabilities to support combined combatant forces in peacetime, contingency, and wartime operations around the world. The Global Hawk provides persistent near real time coverage and moving target indicator MTI. The Global Hawk is currently deployed in three different blocks. Seven Block 10 aircraft have been purchased, but were discontinued from the Air Force inventory in 2011. Block 20 was originally deployed with eminent capability only, but three Block 20s have been converted to the AC-4 communications relay configuration, carrying Battlefield Airborne Communication Node BACN, payloads. Block 30 is a multi-intelligence platform that simultaneously carries electro-optical, infrared, synthetic aperture radar, SAR, and high and low band SIGINT sensors. Initial Operations Capability, IOC, Block 30, declared in August 2011, 18 Block 30s are currently deployed, supporting every geographic combatant command, as well as combat missions and operations enduring freedom and Iraq freedom new dawn, Block 30, also supports Operation Odyssey dawn in Libya, and humanitarian relief efforts during Operation Tomodachi in Japan. Block 40, carries an active electronically scanned array radar insertion technology program, RTIP, that provides MTI and SAR data. Early operating capability, EOC, Block 40, was declared in September 2013, and 11 Block 40s are currently deployed, supporting operations across four combatant commands, the IOC projected by 2015. The Global Hawk is flown with a launch and recovery element, LRE, and mission control element, MCE. The LRE is located at the base of the aircraft and serves to launch and recover aircraft during the journey to and from the target area. MCE controls the Global Hawk for most ISR missions, like the LRE. The MCE is manned by a single pilot, but adds a sensor operator to its crew. The command and control data link allows full dynamic control of the aircraft. The pilot's workstation in the MCE and LRE is a control and display interface cockpit that provides aircraft health and status, sensor status, and a means to change the aircraft's navigation path. From the station, the pilot also communicates with outside entities to coordinate the mission, air traffic controllers, airborne controllers, ground controllers, other ISR assets, sensor operator workstations, provide the ability to assign sensors, dynamically update collection plans in real time, initiate sensor calibration, and monitor sensor status.
Sensor operators also assist exploitation nodes with image quality control, target deck priority, and scene tracking to ensure smooth operation. The system offers a wide range of work options. Unmatched range and 30 plus hours of endurance allow for incredible flexibility in meeting mission requirements. In 2014, the RQ 4 Block 40 performed a flight of 34.3 hours, breaking the endurance record for the longest unfiltered flight ever performed by a U.S. Air Force aircraft.